Well, I'm joined in the studio by the DUP MP Ian Paisley, who has written to the Attorney General about sentencing. Why did you write to the Attorney General over charging? Because he has no control. Well, I wrote to both the Northern Ireland Attorney General and, of course, to the national equivalent uh, in, in London. Uh, the Attorney General does have the right to review sentencing, and he can do this indeed. He can ask for a sentence to be reviewed, and I think that is important. In this particular case of Mr Costa, the man from Spain, I think, like most people last night, I was aghast to know that not only did he only get four years, but because of remand, he will actually be out probably for the rats next year. And that mm. isn't good enough, and I think that the public want to see stiffer, longer sentencing let, let applied. Just, let me just draw you on, on the role of the Attorney General in all of this. He may be the government's chief legal adviser, but he doesn't have this authority that you believe he has, does he? No, but we have the right to write to him to ask him to review these sentencing. And indeed, he can ask, uh, through the Lord Chancellor's office, for sentences to be reviewed. That's what I've asked to do. And indeed, he can pass that message on. I think a message has to go right to the top from the Lord Chancellor, Attorney General, right the way down to the judges, that the public want to see stronger, why, tougher sentences. Why, why not write to the Public Prosecution Service or to the, uh, the Justice Minister, David Ford? Well, I, I think that the uh, Public Prosecutor, too, could uh, come out and make a public statement and explain their actions as to why a attempted murder charge was not brought in the case of Mr Costa and why more serious charges were not mm. preferred on other of these criminals. The fact of the matter is the public are not satisfied with the um, sentencing that has been handed down or indeed with the level of charges brought. We enter into summer now and rioters probably see this is a free-for-all and we will not be punished that strongly. Tougher sentencing, that's what you want? I think we need to see tougher sentencing and we also need to see the strongest possible charges brought to ensure that there is a proper deterrent out there for the public. Ian Paisley, thank you very much indeed thank for uh, joining us.